I don't want to rain on your parade. Well, it's different. Just, it is a cool white, but the photographs do make it look more blue than it actually is. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like a warm light looks better, you know, than a cool light. Mm-hmm. No, I don't, man, I it's don't tough. think so. Don't you give me a, a high C. <laughs> 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 What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Four Dummies, where we have the four dummies. Just one. Yeah, what's up? Robert Detoff. Hello. Mrs. Skullface. Hello. You notice Laura tries to sound very smooth after I had to go, hello. <laughs> She's like, hello. I, I didn't try to sound smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we're going to be talking uh, about display challenges again. It's more of an update because the last time that we spoke, a lot of us were in sort of a rough spot in terms of how to display it. And a lot of us have been proactive in terms of fixing that. And we're going to give like a little update and talk about our challenges and triumphs and uh, disappointments and so on and so forth. So, Jisk, what is going on with your situation? Everything is still in boxes, correct? So all my, fi- <laughs> all my figures are still in boxes. Haven't thrown them out yet, but, you know, we're working on that. Are you working on furniture? Is that what you're working on? Yeah, so that's what I bought. So I had all these Detolfs, and I bought a bunch of Bestas. You bought, like, the single Bestas or, like, the triple or the double? I bought two of the double and then two of the singles. Okay. And then I was going to stack, like, the singles. So I put the Detolfs on top, and in true fashion, I was like, oh, no, this is not not it. What do you mean you were going (laughs) to stack the singles? I don't want to talk about it yet. I got to see if it works yet. Uh Jess, you're not an innovator. It's Ikea furniture. Come on. (laughs) Listen, bro. Nobody did it before me. (laughs) No one. But I've got an idea. I'm going to move some stuff around. I did look at it and I went, oh, you know, I don't think this is it. My wife's already freaking out. She just came down yesterday and was like, no. No, what? Like, what are you talking about? (laughs) No, what? You can't do that. I don't even know what you're talking about. I looked in your I looked in your room upstairs and you can't stack this. She's worried about it falling on the kids. Well, first of all, no kid should be in there, so problem solved. <laughs> if okay. you and your wife are downstairs, and all of a yeah. sudden you hear, <laughs> ah! are you just oh, going to turn to your wife and go, problem solved? <laughs> and be like, oh, my figures. <laughs> <laughs> but really my you're wife. like but double so, are you double stacking bestos and then putting a detolf on top of that no so if i if it's one <laughs> am i not supposed to one, say that no 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 it's fine it's one besta and then a detolf is on top of it but then the detolf almost reaches the ceiling the ceilings upstairs are only like eight and a half feet something like that oh okay. well then you know you gotta do you gotta put a detolf horizontally on top of the vertical detolf so it's like a good t- <laughs> <laughs> so it's raised against the ceiling. I'm going to lean one sideways. I'm going to turn one into a hamster cage, put some hamsters in there. <laughs> Just get rid of your detox, man. The problem is it's a detox. <laughs> detox are not, detox no, are not great for Transformers, man. They're no, just... and I agree, but I'm just not there yet. Mm. i got to work with what I've got. Wait, do you have the boxes for the detox? No, those are through. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I will say this: the single besta detolf setup is not the greatest. The single well, besta is like the best is too big. It's too big. Yeah, I yeah, like no, it so, as long as you have a lot of space. Like I feel like it looks I, good in the library. It does look good in the library, but it doesn't look great in the office. I bought the like, I bought the glass doors for it too as well, so it's just you know it looks like a cabinet. But my plan Fancy. essentially is to see yeah, it's how it rolls. I just want to break up the space. I don't want all these you know detolfs. I don't want them all the same height. Right. So it's just it's just trying to figure out a way to that best breaks up the space. That best, that best of breaks I up the space. I was gonna do it. <laughs> I just haven't seen Transformers look good in a detolf. My favorite, the favorite thing in my display are my floating shelves see the issue with me isn't installing them i'm like stressed out about making sure they're they're um level you know like they're all it's a f- nightmare floating shelves i hate them making sure they're all in line yeah. you know and very well aware you've been switching it up recently kind of compiling your legends with your masterpiece combiners and city bots that's been turning out pretty well this is actually on a just on a whim because my favorite display was my floating shelf that had like just a sparse amount of decepticons i love that that one the most but i was like i need to try something new it started out with the shelf that i have it was two shock waves 
two masterpiece Megatrons, two masterpiece Galvatrons. And I was like, nothing about this shelf makes me happy. I realized what was sapping my enjoyment, the fact that I had collected multiple versions of the same character. And I realized, wait a minute, I don't want that. What led me there was Flames Toys because I only need one drift and it's the Flame Toys. And I realized, wait a minute, I don't need to have the shelf cluttered because then now I want to play with them. I can see them. The light's glinting on them and, and I want to pose them and stuff and there's room to do it. When you say you play with them, you like go pew pew or you just mess with them. <laughs> I mess with them. I hope I he goes pew pew. I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> to say they're going pew pew pew. I'm like, oh, Megatron, you must be stopped no matter the cost. No, I'm just I'm going to pose them and photograph them or transform them. You sit on your you know? on your floor in a straddle and play with yeah, them. God. I, 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 oh, I, I, I have a double size sculpture of myself with a giant baby Bjorn in it and I go into the baby Bjorn <laughs> <laughs> and then I play. <laughs> then I went, you know what? That was cool. Let me try something else. Like, it's like you kind of feel stuck with your shelves. Like, I can't do it. Part of it comes from the fact that when you touch one thing and everything falls over, I'm like, screw it. And I just started taking stuff off. I'm going to say, sometimes you, know, you just have to start at nothing. You know, you have to just take it all off. Whoa. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to bin a lot of this display. I don't want the volume. I want quality. Or I might bin it in contemplation of getting more space later on in the relatively near future and then I can, you know, have more room to display. Right, but I, if it's not things that you enjoy, then why, even if you have more space, why would you want to waste it on that? Maybe he's not sure whether or not he enjoys it yet. Mm -hmm. I, I tell you, I, I don't think that it's a bad approach to a Transformers collection is to just do combiners and city bot and then do the rest of the cast in legends. Right. Yeah, that's Dude, I mean it looks good. It, it does. does look good. It does and it doesn't take a whole lot of space. Uh, what I wanted to do was have them just standing <laughs> literally straight up and down in the back of the billy almost like a backdrop, but it looked really trash. It looked terrible. So that I put them into like kind of just poses for the characters. Gort was like, yo, you could fit two on a billy. And I never thought of that because of the whole detail baggage I have. And then right. I, But I tried it out. I'm like, you know what? It's not bad. That's when I sent it to you guys. Like, what do you think? Am no, I, I, I detolfing this? So you have two big bots side by side and then the little bots in the front. The cool thing about the little bots, there's room to pose your big bots. You can pose two of them. And Wait there's room There's room all over the surface of the shelf to put your legends. And you get scale. It makes the combiner look epic. But I will say this, is if I can just give you one critique, yes. I do think putting the legends actually on on, like I think you have a star scream on that Bruticus. Yeah. I think that's not the way to go. I kind of think you do have to keep them a little bit away from each other. So I think they look better when they're not, they're just not touching each other. I think you're right. You can't crowd it. But yeah, that's where I'm going now. And then the, the whole thing that started this is because I put together the Zeta Superion and I've nowhere to put them. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like I, I think that it's classy. And I think that a lot of people's masterpiece display don't end up looking classy. Right. And I think that just having the few masterpiece Hunter City Boss and Combiners mixed with a sharp look Legends cast, like it looks like a class act, and it does give a sense of scale, which I do think is important for a Transformers display because the figures are so small, with the exception of the the big ones, obviously. Yeah. So that kind of brings me to my situation. One of the things, like editing those display videos from before, and really kind of thinking about it, and talking with other people, and the the thing that I've come to realize is that I appreciate variety. I like having right. a variety of furniture. I like having a variety of scale within a collection and if I could do my Transformers collection all over again I would probably take a different route but I've, I've just I've gone too far and the Transformers area has been the biggest challenge so what that I've Jabba's done Jabba's Palace is sick thanks dude and that was yeah uh, dude for real Th that and I have another one next to it that Laura and I are going to do a cantina for you know and, and now that Star Wars area does it, it is even more variety because it's two different pieces of furniture with another scale added to it I do appreciate well, even that. just the way you're displaying it is like different and you're looking at it from a different way it's the whole thing is really cool yeah that turned out nice so I got rid of my 40k table I replaced it with a sectional and then what, what did you do with the 40k table scrapped it we destroyed it whoa it's gonna be Even from pantry shelves crash bot customs top? items and pantry shelves <laughs> Wait, you I got the sectional because I realized with the Star Wars display one of the main things I appreciate about it is that I can actually sit and look at it and I don't really have that with my Transformers display so we got the sectional and now I've been sitting and looking at it I got when we haven't been climbing over boxes and right. trash and wires and so I used to have four <laughs> big billies, a little billy, and a besta. Now I have big... four big billies and a light shelf 
And in the middle, we found this glass case that ran us a lot of money. Yeah, and but that's it, nice. That glass case is nice. The one in, the, in front of the couch? Correct. With the Star Wars? That's beautiful, though. It's, well, it's, not, it's not in front of the Star Wars, but it, it is nice. And The one with the Transformers in it, right? The Transformers in it, right? Oh. Yeah. But anyway, so this glass case I bought, I found on allstoredisplays.com. It was 400 bucks, which seemed super reasonable. It's and, not bad, man. But the shipping was three fifty. Damn. Wait, three hundred and fifty? Correct. No, no, Robert. Three dollars, $3 and, dollars 50 and fifty cents. cents. Wait, it's like four hundred pounds. I just look at it like you've probably gone to IKEA and dropped that much on a clip. I mean, I know you're getting more stuff, but so yeah, you, you know. get a lot more at IKEA for that. Yeah, but it's, yeah, I think what you're getting with this though is better. So it's you know? it's nice because I can fit Trypticon, Metroplex, Omega Supreme in there. They're not all crunched up. Doing this, excuse me, pardon me, <laughs> coming through, excuse me, pardon me. What I love what you did. Was you let go of like needing a shelf that had cohesiveness of uh, like storyline, and as you dropped that and went, I'm gonna go just with symmetry and presentation. Yeah, they turned out nice. And I mean, that's the first time I've seen you really do that with your display. And then I also have been working on lighting the shelves with LED strips. Oh, the Transformers collection looks better <laughs> than ever, but I'm, I'm still this LED situation, like lighting your shelves with LED strips is a nightmare. How many strips does that does one outlet run? So most strips end up being like, I think, 16 feet. And I had to get three to do all okay. my Transformer shelves and my Marvel Legends shelves. So you could power like, you know, three or four different shelves on one Switch, yeah, so each each switch is intended to carry off of one main line about 16 feet. So you can rig it up a way where oh, you can, see, where you can run it a number of different different ways in that parallel. That was a commitment, man. I mean, you really committed to something without knowing if it'll work. Yeah. I'm like, what up, but, Iotas? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. <that> <laughs> what about those cheap sticky things that you just click? I, a little I, disc, you I, just stick it on and click it I, when you I, want to see the show? So I didn't want batteries, and I needed to feel happy about that display. For the first time in a long time, I am becoming happy with my Transformers display. Yeah, it's looking good. It's getting there. Yeah, yeah. So we're still not done, and I don't know if we're going to get done by the time we leave for celebration, which is... And that's part. okay. That's not okay. Celebrations. A airplane. Dead giraffe. Thanos under some dioders. Raisin brand. Every version of Besta that Ikea sells. Robert playing with his Transformers. Marie Kondo in front of my collection. Yeah.